Do you promise to love Miriam always? Do you promise to never take her for granted? To honor her and cherish her as long as you both shall live? If so, please say I do loudly. Hell yes. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Miriam needed a barber for her son, and the rest is history. I always like to learn and obsess as much as I can over my couples prior to their wedding day, but Miriam did not make that easy for me. <laughs> when I asked about their very first date, she noted, Barton G? Hell, I can't remember. Cry face emoji. That's all right, because she certainly at least remembered her beautiful proposal on April 29th of 2019. Ralph, one day we were all on the balcony just chatting it up, and Ralph said, Carolyn, I'm going to propose to Miriam. Daniel, when I met you, I never knew we'd make it this far. I should have known from the day we met you put the needs of my son before my own, and that quality alone set you apart from the rest. You've been playing the part of my better half even before you asked me to be your wife. As lovers, the father of my child, an additional father to my son, my biggest supporter, and above all else, the person who I could depend on for anything. Although the road ahead may be challenging, I'm just happy to know that you'll be by my side. I am happy to continue this journey in life with you. As my husband, I love you. Today I call an assembly, a gathering, to memorialize a love that has ignited in the unique soul and hearts of Miriam Tennis and Ralph Daniel. Today we rejoice in the Lord and we give thanks for his grace and mercy. We rejoice in the fact that God loves us better than any one person can. And we rejoice that he loves us better than we could ever love ourselves. Our God is insightful. He is understanding. God is love. Ever since I laid eyes on you, I know God blessed me with just you. You are the only thing that I imagine. Forget anybody else, it's just me and you. Like you said, it's our story. I can't wait. I'm so excited that you will take on my last name. I love you. There you go. So cute, baby. Oh, you look good. <laughs> oh, you look good. I give it to you. You look good. You want to kiss That's all y'all getting. Yeah, that's it. That's all y'all getting. Throughout my entire life, going to church, every year when pastors would preach on the subjects of relationships and marriages, I've always heard the first Proverbs 18:22. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. On this day, December 20, 2020, I strongly believe God blessed me with a queen, a wife, a partner. I know I have been given favor from the Lord because you have elevated me. You have made me become not just a better man, but a better person. grace of God, you've given me one of the greatest blessings, which is that of becoming a father. I love just how passionate you are with our family, just as much as you are with your business. And I'm saying this because I realize God has paid attention to my praise of what I wanted in a wife, which is you. Every love R&B songs make me think of you. My thoughts of love cannot be quantified with words of how much I appreciate you. God went hard for me. 
He told the devil, drink for us. He wasn't shooting in the gym. <laughs> Heaven found you is proof that there has to be a God, that you are heaven sent. I love and cherish you. It would be an honor and privilege for you to bear my last name. of any kind be able to ever separate you two. Now, according to the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you for the very first time to the entire world as Mr. and Mrs. Ralph Daniel. Ralph, you may now kiss your bride. Therefore, I now commission you to agree to help them keep their bond holy, reminding them of their love for one another and helping them cross through any future stressful periods. So now I ask for all of you to say, we do. We do. You hear that? You're loved. Great.